Well, another day in the life of science. Today we're going to be talking about, yep, the periodic table. Makes sense, we're talking about atoms, might as well talk about the periodic table. Um, well, two things. First, before we move on to the periodic table, we got to understand that all the elements in the periodic table are just different types of atoms with, that have different properties. That's the basic of it. Um, so, for example, remember that each of the atoms of each element just has different numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Specifically, what you want to talk about or think about is the number of protons because the atomic number is what we really want to focus on. So if you look at the atomic number on carbon, for example, the atomic number is six. All that atomic number means is that it has six protons. And that's how the elements in the periodic table are arranged. One way they're arranged, not, that's not the only way. But that's how they're arranged because each one of those elements it has a number is based on the number of protons it has in the periodic table. Number. And then you have the atomic mass number on the bottom, the 12. Um, that number is just the number of protons and neutrons added together. So if you use the atomic mass number, or mass, atomic mass, which is the bottom number, 12, and you subtract six, the atomic number from it, you would get the number of neutrons also. So take the atomic mass and you subtract the atomic number from it, so 12 minus six, you would get the number of neutrons in the atom too. That's what the atomic mass means. So this is the combination of protons and neutrons. Let's look at a couple examples of different elements on the periodic table. For example, hydrogen. It's number one on the periodic table. It also is the most abundant element in the universe, which is kind of interesting. That's because it's just also the smallest, so there could be more of them. And it's not a solid, it's a gas, so that makes sense because the universe is mostly made of gas because basically, let's think about space. And the next one in the Earth's atmosphere, nitrogen is actually 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. And let's look at the numbers though. Hydrogen has one proton. Look at its atomic numbers, one. And helium has two, because it's number two. Carbon number six, nitrogen number seven. Said nitrogen has seven protons, oxygen has eight protons, and so on. That's how you figure out how many protons are in any element, the atom of any element. Another thing about the periodic table. So the columns on the periodic table represent elements with similar properties. For example, hydrogen through ferriconium have similar properties. Another thing, so meanwhile, the rows of the periodic table are arranged by atomic mass, from the lowest on the left to the highest on the right. For example, in the row of potassium, 19 through 36, each, each element in that row, its atomic mass gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you go through that row. That's my mom, I gotta go.